From a glorified theme park in Dubai called Dubai Land, featuring state-of-the-art gaming zones, shopping malls, and virtual reality entertainment, to the $150 billion ongoing renovations on the International Space Station, these are the top 15 most expensive megaprojects in modern history. $64.3 billion theme park proposal was announced. 15. The John F. Kennedy Airport Expansion One of the three major airports serving the New York metropolitan region is JFK International Airport. Since the 1970s, it's been one of the busiest airports in the United States in terms of foreign passenger volume, primarily because it is the nation's largest metropolis and one of the world's most popular tourist destinations. But unfortunately, JFK's model of operations has been outdated for over a decade. This, along with the fact that it's notorious for large amounts of congestion, are key factors contributing to it being considered one of the worst airports in the world. In October of 2018, New York Governor Andrew Cuomo unveiled an ambitious $13 billion plan to address the JFK mess. Since then, it has undergone revisions due to delays caused by COVID-19 and has evolved into what is now called the new Terminal 1. In December of 2021, a new plan was announced to introduce 23 gates, a larger check-in hall, security, and concession sections along with modern NYC-inspired art and architecture. Additionally, retail stores, restaurants, and bars with a focus on the region will all be housed in the terminals. Overall, the project will create more than 10,000 total jobs. Upon completion, the new Terminal 1 at JFK will be the world's largest international airport terminal. 14. The Second Avenue Subway Expansion The construction of Second Avenue Subway has long been considered since the year Babe Ruth hit his first home run for the Yankees, which was back in 1914. Back then, it was envisioned that the 2nd Avenue train would be a part of the giant subway system. Initially, what derailed the 2nd Avenue subway was the Great Depression, and despite a series of noble efforts afterwards in 1939, the plan was set back yet again due to the Second World War. After that, the project just never got back on track. That is, not until 2017, when the city started the largest expansion of the subway system in 50 years. It was initiated as phase one of a long-term plan. For a price tag of $4.5 billion, the queue line expanded from 63rd Street to 96th Street, which, on a pre-pandemic day, serviced nearly 200,000 passengers to the Upper East Side of Manhattan, the densest neighborhood in the city. It's not until five years later that the project has restarted, but will require $6.3 billion to complete this expansion, as it was originally projected not to open again until 2030. The project should start sometime in 2022, assuming city officials are able to secure billions of dollars in funding within the next few years. 13. Channel Tunnel For as long as we can all remember, people have dreamed of a channel tunnel. The English Channel Tunnel, often known as the Euro Tunnel, is a rail tunnel that racked up $21 billion in costs before its completion in 1994. To put the enormity of that cost in that perspective, you would have to build the Golden Gate Bridge 700 times over again before reaching the price of the English Tunnel. Constructing a simpler passage through the channel had been an idea for centuries, and this was primarily because for sailors and marine travelers, the channel's rocky coastlines and stormy conditions made crossing it always a frightening prospect. However, in 1987, after an agreement between the English and French officials, the digging finally began, first on the English side and then in 1988 on the French side. These two sides finally met in the middle after two and a half years of tunneling, allowing a British worker to be the first man to cross the channel by land since the Ice Age. To complete this project, over 13,000 engineers, technicians, and skilled workers were employed, 11 of which died in the effort. Connecting England and France, two of the tunnels allow rail traffic to travel through, while the third is reserved for services and security to pass through. With over 400 trains using the passage, it is the busiest railway system in the world. 12. The Airbus A380 
On December 19, 2000, Airbus announced the $10.7 billion A380 program. The mission was to create an aircraft that would provide immediate relief from airport congestion by increasing passenger capacity at some of the busiest airports in the world. Thus, the plan was to make a plane that would feature over 6,000 square feet of usable capacity, a floor plan that also included a full-length double-decker design. When you draw it up, that's more stepping space than one full-size basketball court. In terms of its manufacturing, there are 4 million parts in every A380, which are made by 1,500 different companies in 30 different countries. The final assembly of the aircraft took place in Toulouse, France, which was reached by road, air, and water. Then, in 2005, priced at roughly $450 million, the A380 behemoth was ready to be airborne. The launch attracted a lot of attention, but the arrival of the aircraft seemed to come a little too late. This was because the Super Jumbo was designed at a period when large planes carrying hundreds of people between hubs were desirable. But by the time it began flying, a different business model had taken over in the aviation industry, smaller planes connecting smaller airports. By the time the A380 became available, US airlines had already shifted away from jumbo jets in favor of twin-engine aircrafts like the Boeing 787 and Airbus A350. Air France, British Airways, and Lufthansa were among the major European airlines that flew Airbus A380s, but in limited numbers. Another big factor that played into A380's lack of success was its engines. The vessel carried four thirsty Rolls-Royce engines that have long since rendered it unprofitable for the majority of operators. Investors were still hopeful, however, only because they were promised by the creators to upgrade the engines. But unfortunately, these upgraded engines were developed in secrecy and were initially used on rival Boeing 737 Dreamliner, which was smaller and more fuel efficient. In the end, there was no return on the $25 billion investment that went into the A380 program. 11. The Toe Oedo Line To cope with the soaring population of Tokyo in the 1950s, existing public transportation infrastructure like the streetcar system became more ineffective due to chronic road congestion. Because of this, the need for a subway to address the city's infrastructure issues became urgent, and thus led to the construction of the Toe Oedo Subway. The Toe Oedo Subway is made up of four lines, the Asakusa Line, the Oedo Line, the Mita Line, and the Shinjuku Line. When touring the city, the two-way subway is convenient for travel because its line passes through some of Tokyo's most popular tourist destinations. But out of the four lines of the subway, the one that dwarfs all the others in terms of its scale and cost is the Oedo Line. With a total length of 43.58 kilometers, the Oedo Line is Japan's longest subway line. It was almost the most expensive subway line to build, costing roughly 1.3 trillion in Japanese yen, which is an equivalent of 12 billion US dollars as of 2000, making it Japan's most expensive subway line. 10. Big Dig The Boston Central Artery slash Tunnel Project is called the Big Dig all over the world because of how big it is. With the total cost amounting to $14.6 billion, this project is the largest, most complicated, and most difficult highway construction project in American history. In 2007, there were a lot of new roads, bridges, and tunnels built when the Big Dig was done, which led to a major issue that project planners didn't foresee which was that Boston was a booming, growing city, which might sound nice. However, this created overwhelming traffic jams that made the drivers' lives a living nightmare. 9. Beijing-Shanghai High-Speed Railway This $34.7 billion project was completed in 2011. It was considered the world's longest high-speed railway that has ever been built in a single phase, the total length of the structure being 1,318 kilometers, that's 819 miles, which is the exact equivalent if you were to drive from Los Angeles, California, 
to Bend, Oregon. The line was the first to be built with a maximum operating speed of 380 kilometers per hour. The nonstop train from Beijing South to Shanghai Hongkou was planned to take 3 hours and 58 minutes, making it the fastest scheduled train in the world, compared to 9 hours and 49 minutes for the fastest trains running on the parallel conventional railway. However, a maximum speed of 300 kilometers per hour, 186 miles per hour, was set for the first trains, which slowed the journey from Beijing south to Shanghai Hongkou by over four hours. But on September 21st, 2017, with the launch of China's standardized EMU, the 350 km per hour service was reinstated, so that on the fastest scheduled trains, the journey from Beijing to Shanghai was cut to a little over 4 hours and 18 minutes, achieving an average speed of 291.9 km per hour, 181.4 miles per hour, over a distance of 1,302 kilometers, 809 miles. Due to the high volume of passenger intake, the Beijing Shanghai High Speed Railway is also regarded as China's most profitable high speed rail line, which in 2019 reported a net gain of 11.9 billion yuan, an equivalent to 1.86 billion US dollars. 8. Hong Kong International Airport Since 1998, the Hong Kong International Airport has been the main airport in Hong Kong. It was built on land that had been reclaimed by the country, an island just off the coastline called Chek Lap Ka. This $27 billion project was a long time coming, considering the former airport it replaced was notorious for its overly tactical and dangerous route of entry, shaking residential buildings as the plane hovered a few hundred feet over them. In fact, on the History Channel, the Kai Tak Airport was ranked the sixth most dangerous airport in the world to fly into. HKIA employs roughly 65,000 people and is a significant part of the Hong Kong economy. Flights from the airport travel to more than 180 destinations across the world by more than 100 different airlines. As of 2019, Terminal 2 of Hong Kong International Airport has been closed for renovations in preparation for the anticipated surge in passenger traffic caused by the addition of a third runway. Currently, the terminal is not projected to reopen until at least 2024. Which of these projects do you think was the biggest waste of money? Let us know in the comments below. By the way, if you want to see the most expensive mega projects, make sure to check part 2 of this video. Link is down below. Thanks for watching, and make sure to subscribe for weekly videos on the world's worst disaster projects.